Hi, hi, hi. Uh, so I go into the forums on a regular basis, not necessarily every day. I'm just going to show you uh, the types of articles I read. Can we please go back to when Artie was nerfed? I don't know if it was better before. It's different. I kind of like the changes. And the reason why is because now you have more decisions you have to make. Now you've got the APCR, which doesn't do stun or burst. And you've got the gold HE, which has a smaller burst radius, which is kind of dumb. I mean, the gold HE, nobody's going to use it. Uh, maybe it has higher penetration. It's, it's going to be dumb. Nobody's going to use it. So you've got more choice and it takes more strategy, and that's what makes the game fun. That's why you play the game. Um, the NA forums are a very small slice of the player base. What tanks made you quit playing? I don't, I'm not the type of guy who complains, oh, you got this tank, so I'm going to quit. No, I saw it like, if you have that tank, I want to get that tank someday. You know, these are just people with negative attitudes. Any mech warrior it might be a wargaming game. Uh, got the sandbox survey. Most sensible thing I've seen about Crew 2.0. There's nothing sensible. Uh, Klaus Kellerman has exposed Crew 2.0. They're doing it purely for financial reasons. As he explains, they're unifying all the crew into one commander to make it have a dollar value. And they're trying to maximize that dollar value. And they believe that a, the highest crew commander is worth around 20 or $30. And they do it with World of Warships. They're taking that business model and they're switching it to Wargaming. They're not doing it to fix what's broken with the existing crew. It's a money grab. Uh, look, Klaus Kellerman talked about it uh, the week of uh, July 21st after that. Expected drop in server population. I believe that there has been a drop in server population. Uh, at one time, it was 30,000. We've seen it at around 22 for a long time. I think it's been down to 15 or 16 past couple of weeks. Why does matchmaking keep stacking teams? This is dumb. The teams are random. You're just as likely to be on the stack team as not. Why does NA think NA is a player base that's dumb? You thought Crew 2.0 was wild. Field modifications. I thought the field modifications were a good thing, but people have been pointing out, uh, in fact, it was four tankers and a dog. He pointed out that there are issues with field modifications. It's a good idea. Field modifications is a good idea, but their implementation has problems. Watch what he says, and he explains it. It basically is... You get a, an advantage over lower tiers, for example, because they don't have the same features. Ran into a former poster who cares. <laughs> State of the game. Uh, Warp 103, he, he works hard to, uh, to contribute. So if you want to read someone who makes an effort to make a lot of contribution, I don't read everything he, he says, but uh, he, he, he makes an effort. You might want to read that. Is it really random? Um, let's see what it says. See if this is an idiot. Last time I posted a battle. Oh, come on. It, this is one game. Seriously. The, the concept of being random is you have to look at thousands of games. And it does, it's, it doesn't entirely work out. Like, I know when I play that I'm often on a certain spawn. It happens all the time. And if you go through your logs with the, uh, replay analyzer, you will see it's not 50-50. You don't spawn 50-50 on each spawn. Uh, you are not top tier equally to being bottom tier. There's there's uh, possibly people that have an advantage over others. For example, you should be on each spawn 50-50, but overall the replay analyzer shows it's not true. Why do some argue against skill-based matchmaking. Well, here's a good reason why. Because random battles over time equalizes everything. That's a great reason why. Crew operations button sending me to Thunderstorm. 100 gas that we all get. I don't remember what the gas was for, but it was some sort of an event like the Rock Rock the Summer event or whatever it was. My Jinx says you owe me another exceptional fun night bonds. High, high, highway Rock your blocked maps. Ensk, I believe, is the most blocked map. And I believe that uh, 
Paris is high up on the list, but Ensk is definitely up there. I th okay, so these maps are not in the game anymore. Camarin wasn't a great map, but it was nice and open, and Port uh, was fun. It was small. It was a lot of fun. Ensk is another one. Yeah, I believe Mines is my lowest win rate map, which is weird because I really love playing on, on Mines. Make all 2.0 lossless conversions completely free for existing crews. Yeah, F that. Magic fix. Few things, so it's not a magic fix. Okay, I read this. Use actual maps of actual locations. This doesn't work. We went. I went through maps of actual locations, and I proposed them to Wargaming, and my argument was, this is the best you're going to get, and their argument was, it wasn't good enough. So the conclusion is actual locations do not make for good maps. Make about 20 new maps. They do make the maps. They just don't release them. That's the problem. And it has to do with disk space. The maps, I believe, are a gigabyte each. And uh, they can't have unlimited maps because it, the game's already like 40 gigabytes. I compress mine. It's down to like 29 gigabytes. Uh, and I play it compressed, but they cannot have unlimited client game size. They had to make decisions. They actually stated this. Roll RNG back to plus 15%. This is a dumb idea. Um, RNG is random. I mean, you always end up averaging out to zero. EBRs removed. This is stupid. Frontline would be regular game mode. You can choose when you like. I think it should be a regular game mode, at least at peak times and weekends. Limit RD to two per team. This is dumb. The RD is the weakest uh, tank in the game. When you play, that's if you're worried about heavy tanks being the most powerful, that's one less powerful tank you have to go up against. If you're, <coughs> if you're getting destroyed by RD, then you don't know how to play. It's easy to hide from Artie. It, I get caught in the open sometimes, and Artie bombards me, and it's my fault for being out, out in the open. It's a player mistake that's stupid to limit Artie. There used to be six per team or seven per team. I played a game where it was five Artie against four Artie. It's on my account. Limited minus two matches to no more than two in a row. Yeah, that they could do. There's already something in the matchmaker to account for this. Where... Um, if you keep losing, they give you better matchmaking. It, it, Victor said so. So at least there's a lot of intelligent conversation. Uh, but it's just the same thing you've already heard of. Why does T28 Concept receive preferential matchmaking? Who cares? Usually it's because the gun's not good enough. Uh, I know that it aims quickly. I don't know about penetration. Even out the god tanks, then why play the game? You don't see god tanks in every game. You have received 18 modules. And god tanks is only frontal armor in general. Uh, Sunday night and not even 14k on. Yeah, it's been dipping down. Um, this is uh, Peter Shavo. Don't know who the guy is. Selling commanders is the reason for Crew 2.0. As I mentioned earlier, Klaus uh, did a video on it. XP cost comparison. Like QB or not, this shows how big a mess 2.0 is. Uh, Quickie Baby made a lot of good points about the problems with 2.0. There's a lot of issues with it. Refund on premium tanks. Sandbox survey, what is the requirements? Witcher 3, don't know, Battle Pass, Math Error, looking for a proofreader, um, what's the top five credit makers? I know that the M44 was one of them. Jagdpanzer, Jagdpanzer, Kanan and Jagdpanzer, M4A1.
Schwartz Panzer Hawk 30. T-92. Yes, so there was some research that said that the M-44 was number one, but you know things change over the years, so... Things change over the years. Top credit maker in the game. Every, Even even skill for LTU said not to buy this tank. I just got it. I don't even know if I played one game with it. But it has super high penetration rounds, and the turret's not that bad. My AFEs. I don't remember what AFE is. Okay, that's it for today. Goodbye.